<laughs> Pierre, <laughs> playing with Peyton Manning, mm-hmm. he's a quarterback that everyone, we all know his personality yes. through mm-hmm. commercials, through the Manning cast, through mm-hmm. interviews, whatever it may be. Um, NFL films also, seeing video, mm-hmm. doesn't strike me as the easiest quarterback to play for, play with as a wide receiver. Catching passes from him is one thing, but certainly a demanding type A personality. What, what was it like breaking into the league and catching passes from Peyton Manning and having him demanding so much of you? No, it's, it's honestly one of the best things for him because he has high expectations for everybody on the team, not just you know young receivers. Uh, but when you know – he has these high expectations. You know what he wants from you. You know it's hard at first because you're not speaking the same language, but year two, year three, you're on the same page because he wants to throw touchdown passes. He wants to throw passes. He wants you to be where he wants you to be at because you know he wants to throw the ball to you, and you can respect that as a receiver because you're like, hey, you want to throw the ball? All right, cool. Let me just get to where you want me to be at. Let me read my hot route, run my hot. Let me be on the same page as you because we're both going to be successful. You know, like he wants to throw the ball. He wants to throw touchdown passes. Is there a, a, a noticeable difference from Indianapolis to Washington when he made that transition practice-wise? Uh, yeah. yeah, every organization is different. Every team is run their you know practices different. They run their organizations different. And the location of the you know Washington has a part of how they run their organization. And the location of Indianapolis has a part of how you know nothing comes out of Indianapolis. There's no trouble. So yeah, you know different organizations have to deal with different things based off their location. But it's it's a big difference. But you know winning. It's still everybody's main goal. At your peak, where'd you rank in the NFL in terms of speed? Honestly, I never thought I was that fast, but people were like, hey, he's very, very fast. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, obviously, Deshaun Jackson was like blazing fast, but I always thought like I can take the ball to the house whenever I got my hand on it, you know. But, you know, I never thought I was fast enough. But people are like, hey, he's, he's very bad. Damn, like, that's one like, of the most you. refreshing answers I've ever heard. I've never heard an NFL guy, a receiver, that's what we downplay in his speed. That's what we <laughs> Every in receiver thinks he's the fastest guy in the world. I, I keep thinking you're remarkably grounded. You didn't really have a chip on your shoulder. Hey, I wasn't that, that good. Our team wasn't that good. <laughs> I mean, it kind of it made sense. I, I played hard and I worked at it, but, yeah. you know, the chip didn't come from – outside it came from me like wanting to because in the off season all we do is like hey we got to get faster you know, got to catch the ball and you know you can't coach speed and that's the number one thing in the game so i, lo- I looked year, you were four four eight at the combine or or that's were you what at helped the combine? me honestly, yeah. the, the, doing well at the combine is kind of what started my career honestly yeah and four four eight's very good but it's not it, chris johnson yeah it's not, yeah, it's not like I, it was honestly it was like because i made top 10 in the 40 and like you say 4-4 at the combine is like what everybody runs but you know the combine numbers are what they're saying legit but what did you do to prepare for the combine everything <laughs> I mean, that, that obviously was a big emphasis for you to have that, that time because like hey you play d3 football so you might not be as fast as everybody else um all right cool so i have to work on my speed you play d3 football you might not be as strong as everybody else. all right let me do my bench press and those were the two things that you know i answered at the combine with you know the performance which kind of like hey this guy's actually might be able to play football <laughs> how know? many reps did you bench 19 i think Eight, 20, I think. I think I got 20. I can't remember, but it was top 10. In and I was like, all right, cool. Like, there was receivers that weren't going to do it. I was like, I got to do everything. <laughs> I have to run the board. I have to do the shuttle. I have to do the bench press. I had to do everything because, you know, this is this is my job interview. 